on the Atlantic coast of Africa sits a city. A city 12 travel blogs and your know-it-all friend might tell you not to bother with. To head straight to Marrakesh or zip over to Fez. But they've got it all twisted. Because Casablanca is not the kind of city you skip. is here, the bar is here. It's a city where culture and religion mix like a heady blend of spices. Mm. It's a paradox of tradition and progress, where the tagine is hot, the metal is loud, and the snails, ooh, are kind of bomb. You know, the Casablanca from that classic movie that everyone knows, even if they ooh. haven't seen it? Yeah, this ain't it. Casablanca is a cornucopia of people, attitudes, and a shit ton of cats, mixing it up in Morocco's biggest city where they work, party, and feast. For thousands of years, this corner of Africa has been high traffic. Romans, pirates, conquerors, guys running game in the spice trade. The Portuguese named the place and the French built a lot of cafes and whole neighborhoods like Cartier Habus. Whether you need a caftan or new tires for your moped, this market's got you covered. From classic pastries to homemade pastelas to camel heads, strawberries. Wait, wait, go back. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's a, that's a camel head. Meet Samir, the butcher. He's been chopping up steaks of all sorts at this stand for 30 years, so his knife skills are pretty sharp. Fresh meat has long been a staple of Moroccan cuisine, and this dude has it all. You know it's good when the butcher kisses the meat, okay? But in case there are any doubts, Samir does custom cuts on demand. Salam alaikum. Kum salam. 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 Yeah, that's just how Asam rolls. You may recognize Asam from John Wick 3, where he helped Keanu Reeves shoot, stab, and fame his way through the back alleys of Casablanca. <laughs> In real life, the only thing he's about to maim is this meat platter. <laughs> he and his friend, comedian Kamar, are not just celebrities, they're fellow meat enthusiasts. <laughs> And I'm going to shred cutlet. Basically, now we have the meat. So we're going to do a barbecue. This is one of the best places to buy meat in Morocco, in Casablanca. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool because I'm yeah. paying, right? Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. So I feel like I got like it. Things so I can Let's go. Shukran, yeah. Shukran. Shukran. But I don't eat onions. But we're going to try it. It's good for the heart. For the heart? Yeah. I think I need it. Oh. <laughs> In Casablanca, spots like El Baladia are full service. Just around the corner from your butcher, your personal barbecue chef will spice those little lamb chops and char them up right. Oh my God, you <laughs> Barbecue, or schwa in Dorija, is a major part of the market dining experience. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Ah, yes, this is the Moroccan tea. That's the Moroccan mojito. Cheers. Yeah. So, this is how we do it. Take the lamb meat and some salt, a little bit of cumin, and if you want a little bit spicy, then you take some spice 
and then you just eat it with your hand. Mmm. Very mm. good. Mm -hmm. It's nice to eat with bread as well, with some onions and uh, tomatoes, and it gives you a kind of acid taste, which joins the meat perfectly. Mm. I don't want to talk, I just want to eat. This is really so good. Shut up. Eat. Yeah, what she said. It's like, mmm. <laughs> like, mmm. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to describe a good meal is with like, no words at all. Like, mmm. Like, mmm. Mmm. Like, mmm. Mmm. Like, mmm. Mmm. This is what I call an orgasm. No. <laughs> <laughs>
I can give you two different stories. I know a girl from really conservative family. She wears the hijab and everything, and she had to lie to her parents every time she wanted to go surf. And she used to go in the water with the hijab. And I can give you the story of Fatima. She is from conservative family, but the parents, they understood that she was doing like sports and not something else. Fatima was a 10-time national boogie board champ. But when she got pregnant with her second daughter, she switched to surfing and went on to win six more national titles, standing up. <laughs> she shredded a whole lot of expectations for what women can do in and out of the waves. Even if we are like Muslim country, it tends to be more open, especially in cities like Casablanca. I'm Muslim and I believe in God. I don't pray five times a day. I don't go to the mosque often, and it doesn't make me feel bad. For me, religion is what you do. Basically, the mosque is here, the bar is here, the beach is here. As long as you don't impose anything on other people, this is freedom. The Atlantic coast offers more than just beach vibes and point breaks. It's also a source of some mouth-watering seafood. Now it's low tide, so there are a lot of squids. In Morocco, usually because of our religion, we kill the sheep and everything, we are like uh, meat eaters, you know? But to me, I'm like more a uh, fish eater than a meat eater. I love fish. Right by the port and where this cat hangs out, dang, there are a lot of cats in this city, guys, is Marche Central, the place to grab the freshest seafood around. This place is also the home of Morocco's real national sport, fish bargaining. How much, my friend? How much? You gotta know your limits. And you gotta have stamina. Ada tl tmiya dram. Tl tmiya? Gal ka three hundred. No, no, no. No, no, no. Zaf. Mio khamsin. No, no. Ash bak mitin usbi dram. No. One fifty. No, no. Adio. No, no. Ash, 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 ash. Sir, ash sir mitin o khamsin. Mitin. Makin wano. Mitin, mitin. Bras mano. Mitin, mitin. No, no. Mitin, mitin. Bras mano. Shou ramazan an nakhdo el shiou. Mitin, mitin. Kino waya chou zman. <laughs> like the Kaza surf scene, this place has some legends of its own. This portrait honors Malika, who worked in the market from 1969 until, actually, until today. Her name means queen in Arabic, and from her throne, she sells the same sweet, briny oysters that have kept her family going and growing for generations. You know what? Make it two dozen. In typical Casablanca style, they handle the cooking on site. Enjoy. Oh, we have the best sardines in the world. 
from uh, Safi. From Safi. Safi is a couple hours south of Gaza, and it's the heart of Morocco's big industry of canning these tiny fish. But these sardines skip the tin and come fresh and direct from the deep waters of the Atlantic to Saad's mouth. If you eat fish, you cannot use a fork. You need your hands. The most important thing here is the juice inside. Yes, Saad, get in there. Mm. Gotta love that head juice. I like the vibe here. You're sure that you eat something good, you know? Everything is fresh. This is the Casablanca I, I love. Just down the beach in Ain Diab, you can snack a favorite Moroccan street food, snails. Can give them an admiral of a bush, or can rustle, and they're a little at a year. Aisha is a little tight-lipped on the spice list. That was only three out of 70, but <laughs> who's counting, right? The soup is called babouche. She made sesh. She's sitting here. So to recap, Aisha sells snail shells down by the seashore, and this guy is buying them. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Shabbat shalom. 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 Shabbat but the taste is not like meat at all. I think while it's cooking, the snail gets the spices in the soup and it's kind of tastes like that with a texture of meat. It's pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? Nassim's tray flips. He's one of the few Moroccan skaters to turn pro. Like nipple tattoos, Skateboarding was an unusual sight in Casablanca until recently. I remember we got caught once, like caught by the cops, telling us that we were like satanics or whatever, you know, and they took our boards away and stuff. But we were just like 13 years old kids, you know. But nowadays it's different, like people are getting more used to see skaters and not see it like a bad thing. It's just changing lately. Oh, snap. Sammy. You good? <sighs> <laughs> I think with all those spices that are inside it, Moroccans think that it cures everything. And I'm pretty okay with that. A soup with healing powers? That could come in handy for this guy. I think that it cures everything, cures everything, cures everything, cures everything, cures everything. I agree with them. Boom! There you go. Saeed knows a thing or two about good taste. He's one of the country's most famous fashion designers. Whether you want to keep it modest or show off some of that skin, 
A handmade custom Saeed Marouf design will have you looking your best. In general, I think in Morocco, there are only a few designers that uh, make modern clothes, and there was a need for the type of work that I do. I don't make traditional clothing, I make modern clothing. And I love the fact that women here wear these type of dresses. They're very flexible with their religion. They do have an occasion where you need to cover your shoulder, but these women that come through my door, they, they make their choice for themselves. I met you. <laughs> I come when to knock at your door. knocked on my door. <laughs> I was looking for a dress. <laughs> we made two dresses. Yes. Because uh, for the for the w my son's wedding, one was for the religious moment, so he understand that uh, it must be covered, not so sexy, and the other one. It can be sexy. No more, more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Paola, show him what you're working with. No, but I like how even in the Muslim community, people play with religion the way they they define their own way. Of, uh, yeah, of respecting, yes. Of, yes. It's because it's it's quite modern here, I think. Mm. You know, like other places are much more... Typical. Yes. Mm. I think there is Casablanca and there is Morocco. I think so, yes. yeah. You have melting pot yes. here in yes. Casablanca. Yes. You have yes. uh, different sort of communities and different sort of food. Mm. A good meal, like a new dress, can brighten your day. I always told him you're my, uh, <laughs> like I say, um, antidepressor. <laughs> <laughs> Antidepressant. <laughs> now that's a power lunch. <laughs> Casablanca has an amazing live music scene, from old school classic jams to something a little... Something a little louder. Not that long ago, you could get in serious trouble for playing heavy metal. In 2003, 14 metalheads were sent to jail for it. But today, the city's in the midst of a small but passionate metal resurgence. Give it up for Into the Evernight. After a night of circle pits and breakdowns, they're ready to eat. It's a party town. There's a lot of things to do, but not for people like us. He wants to drink beer. He wants to go to rock places. Here, it's not possible. There is no rock bar what, but this one. If you want to turn it up to 11 in Casablanca, head to Backstage. While drinking is illegal for Muslims, it's tolerated in discretion, and bars are allowed as long as you keep the alcohol indoors. And tonight, there's plenty of booze. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers my boy. Plenty of booze and plenty of paella. Paella is an easy reminder that Spain is Morocco's close neighbor to the north. It's actually the Moors who introduced them to rice and saffron way back when. Like, way, way back when. But the past is the past, and paella is the present. This one is slow cooked with rich spices, peppers, and piled high with seafood. It's a meal fit for a king. Or a band. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Shit. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> it's the best dish ever because it's a family dish. And I hate to eat alone. And normally you eat with your hands. As Moroccans, we always say in Arabic, we love that the food we eat in our street tastes like our mother's food. You see the sokarat, man? Yes, sokarat. This is the best part of the paella. It's uh, when uh, it's burned and you have like a, it's make like a kind of a crust. Yeah, if you don't have it, it's not a real paella. Yeah, I know a little bit about paellas because um, I lived in Spain for a while. I did my studies in Spain. I, uh, I've been to many countries. I've traveled Europe, traveled to the States. So many people think that Morocco is like a so like a I don't know, that we travel in camels, that... Uh, <laughs> we have lions. You know, even in Spain, man. Like, we are, have like a seven kilometers between us. 14. 14, 14 kilometers. 14. And people in the south of Spain, like, they tell me, oh yeah, 
You go in camels to school. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. People have to yeah. go out from their bubble. Like uh, you have to like. We really agree. That's that's what's good about Moroccans. Moroccans are always striving to go out from this bubble. Yeah. <laughs> so they're always like trying to we learn to. new languages. They speak a lot of languages. People should travel more and like be more open and. Uh, it just like uh, try to spread more love and you gotta get more love. In this case, the best way to spread love is to scream loudly into your friends' faces. Thank you, my family. You are beautiful. My I would suggest leaving Morocco without trying some tagine. Get out of here! Tagine is one of Morocco's most well-known dishes. They're varied in flavor and infinite in possibilities, with meat that's braised and slow-cooked till tender. Tagine is to Morocco what hamburgers are to the U.S., part of the national identity. Unlike burger joints, though, you won't find tagine spots on every corner in Kaza. Here, it's mostly cooked at home. But Le Gatsby comes through for expats, tourists, and anyone else who just wants to sit down and enjoy a tagine dream. احنا اكسبري درنا لا كوزين ماروكان لي فرونسي لي زاميريكان كي جو للمغرب علاش كي جو للمغرب على الطاجين الماروكان لا طاجين المغربي الحمد لله tonight this traditional dish is being made exclusively by one of morocco's most iconic faces all things that i do i do it because i love it it can be like, of course, dancing, acting, modeling, everything. I'm like a queen of Casablanca, you know? Noor is not just a tagine connoisseur. She's a model, belly dancer, and regular on the red carpet. Her energy and stardom outshine conservative values. Whatever you are, the most important thing is what you have on your heart. For me, that's more important, not what you have on your sex. You can be a good person, whatever you are. I'm very passionate about Moroccan foods. Casablanca, it's a mixture between modernity and traditional. So Morocco, it's very rich cuisine. We have to stop it because now we have Allah Akbar. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. The Gatsby is situated right across the street from Hassan II, the second largest mosque in Africa. Outside, the call to prayer blasts over the loudspeakers five times a day. But back inside, Chef Tarek is hard at work on a chicken and olive tagine for our girl Noor. Zero pizza, chuma, zero shuye del harissa, limon, ber, le citron confit, safran. La ma kanch hada fta fkhn garibi, chikun shi haja li naqsana, li zipiz diana, li qama diana, tkhul fe fe poli. Ya fkhn tina wa saatin del madana, bashi tib ala khatro. Nor does not accept less than the best. Wow. Yum, yum. Thank you. Thank you. Shokran. Yum, yum. That's mine. This is typical Moroccan dish. It's really, really, really amazing and so delicious. It's my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. So yummy. I'm a woman. I love eating and I love life. Unfortunately, in this century, we feel less love than more hate. But maybe if I give a smile, sometime, only one smile, it can change the world. 
I'm Scorpion, by the way. So all those Scorpions women, they are most of the time very special. And whatever I do or wherever I go, everybody tell me we cannot forget you. An unforgettable face in an unforgettable city. Wind your way through Casablanca and you'll find all of its cultural contrasts. Well, refreshing. It's a port city that harbors acceptance, that revels in defying expectations and honors tradition. And if you don't trip over all the cats, you'll stumble upon a diverse and delicious dining oasis. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, off-roading and sand. So get ready. Oh, <laughs> full adventure.